Welcome to Goldsmithing 101. Today we're going to talk about flame control and the different types of flames that we use for jewelry manufacture. first flame that we normally use is a neutral flame. This is the flame mostly used for soldering and melting purposes. The second type of flame we get is a uh, reducing flame. The reducing flame has got a slight yellowish feather in the flame um, which gives a reducing atmosphere. This is good for melting metals that tend to oxidize a lot. Um, there is more gas than oxygen present in the flame. The third type of flame we get is an oxidizing flame. There is uh, an overly amount of oxygen present in the flame which gives a very hot, intense flame. We only use this for plat platinum work to melt and to solder platinum. Uh, please do not use an oxidizing flame to melt or solder your gold and silver. Uh, you will burn your solder and you might burn delicate parts of your jewelry work with an oxidizing flame. I'll give a quick demonstration of the different types of flames, how to light your flame and how to control your flame. First of all, always light your gas first. And then slowly add your oxygen. You'll notice the slight yellow feather still present in the flame. This is a, a, a reducing flame. You can use this for soldering on uh, some gold and silver, although uh, you might have a little bit of problems with heat control. A better flame to use would be your neutral flame. You just add a bit of oxygen until the other feather is just, just gone. Now your oxygen and your gas is in balance. Um, perfect harmony. This is you. This is the best flame for use in jewelry work for general purpose solder on gold and silver. By adding more oxygen, we create an oxidizing flame, which has got a very high, intense, localized heat. This is only used for platinum work. Do not use this flame for gold and silver work. You will burn or melt your jewelry piece. To close your flame, always close your oxygen first and then your gas. 